histology lab review screencast with connective tissue and let's focus on dense connective tissue. This is dense regular connective tissue. First thing you should ask when you see this under the microscope, where's the cells? Well, we can see the nuclei of our fibroblasts kind of squeezed in between what very little space there is between these dense collagen bundles. Remember, this is dense connective tissue, so there is not a whole lot of room. It's the direction of the collagen protein bundles. We're running in the same parallel direction. We're not crisscrossing. We're not overlapping. We're running parallel. That's what regular is referring to in the terminology. So you're not seeing cell membranes like smooth muscle for some looks kind of like this but you're not seeing individual long skinny tapered needle like cells like you do in smooth muscle Our next dense tissue is dense irregular connective tissue. So it's dense. Where's the white space? Don't see a whole lot of it around here. Where are the cells? Well, there's, there's some stained, but there's not a whole lot of cells here to look at. Similar to dense regular connective tissue, instead we see an abundance of tightly packed collagen bundles. But here, the bundles are moving in all directions. That's where the word irregular comes from in our terminology, in irregular, diverse directions. So this tissue is interwoven together, these tough bundles of collagen fibers. So strength is a huge function of this tissue. We find it commonly wrapping around organs like the muscle. Uh, it's found as well within the skin and the thick dermis of the skin. It's also found as protective coverings around cartilage and uh, bone in the perichondrium and periosteum respectively. And it plays a role in joints as well, playing a supporting uh, function in the joint capsule. So strength and support are huge benefits of having a lot of this dense regular tissue around the body. Our last dense connective tissue is elastic connective tissue. And the search image to look for are these springy coils that we can see scattered around in these various bundles. They're wavy, some are kind of corkscrew shape. A spiral appearance is a definite search image you want to look for. And they're running parallel to each other. You don't see them overlapping. They're all running in the same direction here within these bands. And like its name suggests, elastic connective tissue provides elasticity, which means the tissue can extend out to accommodate a larger volume, and it can retract back to the original shape. So it helps maintain the shape of organs like blood vessels, for example. The elastic arteries have to regulate blood pressure with the help of this elastic connective tissue. It's also in the lung and the airways to accommodate respiration.